Yo, what's good with y'all? Today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to make commands and stuff. Like, I've shown you how to make like individual commands, like specific ones and stuff like that. But I'm gonna show you all kind of like, hmm, how do I put this? Like, generally, how to make commands in general. So you could just you could take this video as like kind of like the like the frame, like the starting point, and then just add on whatever you want to and make and make whatever command you want. And stuff so long as you really understand like what I've done and stuff plus I figured out how to like do commands in a more organized way and stuff with, and stuff so yeah but anyway let's get straight into the video oh actually before I get into the video I just want to say thank y'all thank y'all for 900 I really I really do appreciate it and stuff like that I literally came home and someone was someone DM me, actually no someone DM me two people pinged me and they were telling me congrats and stuff and I was like I was like appreciate y'all like I really do appreciate y'all for real I know that thousand thank y'all for real anyway let's get into the video all right so let's head on over to server script service and insert a server script y'all can really call this commands i guess commands yeah command i'll just call it commands i guess then we'll delete print hello world we'll have our table full of admins or staff members i guess or allowed you it doesn't even matter local staff is equal to make a table then we'll put the usernames here and then we will make our function game dot players that player added calling connect function in parentheses put plr which is short for the player who joined then we'll do player dot chatted calling connect function in parentheses put msg which is short for message then i'm going to break up the message and stuff here's the part i have not shown in my videos and stuff i actually just figured this out a few days ago and i felt so stupid for not even realizing like how simple it was okay so we're going to break up like we're gonna make a variable that kind of is like it's it's a table right like it's a table and it has every single every single word that or every single word i guess we'll say that a person types in the chat like it counts after every space i guess like if you say hey then wow and then uh uh up i guess um it'll count each like each one individually and stuff right so let me show you what i mean so if we do local args or arg it doesn't matter if you know, if you know that stands for that stands for argument right is equal to string dot is it sub or split no it's split string dot split message then you want to put quotation marks and then put a space because we're separating everything by the space i really didn't even realize like, I, I felt so stupid when I just figured it out, but anyway. So, the first argument, of course, will be, like, you know, the command and stuff. Like, the first word, you could say. So, if arg, then you put bracket 1 is equal to, then here you would put your command. So, uh, for the video, uh, I guess test, yeah. Like I'll just, I guess just test. I'll just make a command with pretty much when I say the command. Um, when I say a command, a server message will appear that says test. I guess, right? So pretty much, if the first word is equal to test, right? If the first word is equal to test, then um, what's it called? Well, colon test. Then it'll proceed with whatever whatever is next. So let's say I wanted to test on a certain player. Yeah, never mind. Forget what I first what I said at first. So I wanted to test a certain player. Like I wanted to see the player's position, for example, right? Oh yeah, let me change this actually. Not test. Let's say locate. If I want to locate a specific player, yeah. Okay. If I want to locate a specific player and stuff, I could do then I could do four i comma v in pairs game dot workspace colon get children enter do if v dot name is equal to argument number two which should be the username because I do colon locate then the player's username All right then uh, I guess I'll do print v dot humanoid oh, no, no. oh yeah no, no yeah v dot humanoid root part dot position Right. This is just a general example, so you guys can kind of know like how to do it and stuff like that. I'll share an example of how to use like a command where like 
if you're say you're setting something like you're setting a property and stuff like that. So if I do if I do uh, locate by J19, boom, it then puts the coordinates. It then puts the coordinates in the uh, output menu. Now, if you wanted to do like a command where like you need the command, the username, and then like you're setting like a property, like sp like a speed command, for example, you could do speed, and then um speed. Oh yeah, and then you would this would stay the same, right? This would stay the same, but you what you'd want to do is we'd want to do v dot humanoid dot walk speed is equal to argument number three. Because the way you would do it is you do the command first, the username, then the, uh, then whatever that you want the speed to be, whatever you want this to set the speed to. So if I were to do this, um, speed spy J19 100, as you guys can see, my speed obviously went to 100 stuff. That's how you make commands really simple. If y'all want, y'all could use a module script if you wanted to, if y'all want as well. I guess I'll show that real quick. Like you could have this be the handler in the module scripts, like in the module script like actually do the work the module script pretty much does the work this is just pretty much just like this is pretty much just firing i guess we'll say firing the functions or triggering the function up i guess you could say so you could have a module script i guess i'll show an example of that uh, so if i did that okay uh, let me delete this so pretty much if i did this yeah okay so if, it, so if i did this i could really do it like this I would need to, of course, reference the module script. So local mod, local mod s is equal to scripts require. I mean, wait, isn't it script to require? I honestly forgot. Or is it require? Oh, no, I'm sorry. Is this just, oh, yeah, I'm tripping. Require script dot module script. Yeah, there you go. And then you could just do, let me go here and make it real quick. Do module dot, let me think. Uh, oh, module dot speed. It's equal to function. And then you would just have your code in there. And then you would do mod s dot speed. And that would trigger it. And then, of course, you would put whatever you want to the parameters. So you could put argument number three. Oh, sorry, I meant to do bracket. You could do argument number three. So you'll pretty much send the speed as well as the player. You can also put the player's name and stuff. Yeah, that's pretty much how you make commands and stuff. That's the basic way. That's the basic way of how you would do it. And stuff. If the video was helpful, leave a like and subscribe. And yeah, appreciate y'all for watching.